Здравствуйте, друзья. У меня постоянно спрашивают, говорят, Михаил, вы там на месте, гляньте, там, может быть, найдете какой-нибудь проект, у нас тут бригада разработчиков, вот мы умеем это и это. Я думаю, ну, конечно, при случае. И вот представился случай. У нас есть заказ на бригаду разработчиков, и заказчик в нашем офисе, мы сейчас его попросим представиться и рассказать, о чем речь. Uh, hello everybody, my name is uh, Ram Subramaniam. Uh, I have been a software developer all my life and I have also been an entrepreneur all my life. And mm -hmm. now I, along with one of my Stanford classmates, have launched a venture in India, which is a fintech venture and it brings uh, machine learning and artificial intelligence based recommendations for personal finance for the Indian consumers. Mm -hmm. And I am delighted to be here in Port Nov. But you are in US and the software is uh, uh, tar targeting the people in India. Exactly. So uh, we both, I and my founder, co-founder, mm -hmm. we both are here and we have a huge office in India. Mm -hmm. And what we do is we commute from here to India mm. almost every month. And the reason why we are stationed here is to be very close to the VCs, investors mm -hmm. and also to Stanford so that Uh, we tap the knowledge that our professors have, the Stanford professors have. So we want to be here for just that reason, but I commute uh, to India so that I work closely with the developers, banks, my other employees. Uh, we have a pretty large office in a city called Hyderabad in India. Okay, so India by itself is uh, well known for being the outsourcing hub. So why are you looking outside of India for Uh, for a team? Okay, uh, it's a very good question. Why is someone from India looking yes. for outsourcing elsewhere? Yes. Very interesting question. The reason being, um, outsourcing talent that is available in India today mm -hmm. mostly focuses on providing support and related software development services, let's say for large gigantic companies. Okay. So their focus is more on SAP and Oracle and uh, Microsoft related technologies uh -huh. and so on and so forth. In other words, the outsourcing there is mostly targeted toward uh, corporate customers here in the United States and okay. in the West. Okay. So not startups? Not for startups for two reasons. Mm -hmm. One, you know startups have to use the latest technology. Mm -hmm. And the other problem being In general, in the Indian society, mm -hmm. they would the the employees would prefer to work in established, well-known, reputed organizations. Okay. So not much preference is given to startup companies yet. It is beginning. Mm -hmm. So one, we find it difficult to recruit good talent, mm -hmm. and two, the technologies we use. For example, our development stack is uh, uh, MySQL, uh, Angular. Node and Express. Something very common in the US actually. Pretty common here in the US. Yes. And even here in the US, if you take for instance uh, all these uh, corporates that use uh, ERP systems and other systems uh, to support their main core services, mm -hmm. these are peripheral technologies for them. Okay. Okay. So these web technologies, those organizations that are using web technologies to provide connectivity to their backend systems they use all these latest web technologies. Okay. Okay. So, um, what kind of team are you looking for? What, what, what kind of expertise and maybe some other uh, requirements? Let's say, how would you describe an ideal uh, team to work with? Well, I would look at somebody uh, with about anywhere from two to five years experience in technologies such as... Is a team? Uh, it's either individuals or a team. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, if they come as a team, well and good, but if they would like to contribute and work with us on an individual basis, mm -hmm. that is also good. Mm -hmm. okay. So they should be able to be well versed in uh, Angular. We use Angular uh, 7, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Node.js for our uh, APIs in the back end, and we use Express for the API framework. And uh, our um, proxy server is uh, an Nginx server. And we also have a little bit of Java code, but uh, I am in the process of eliminating it so that everything is now uh, Angular node uh, and we use uh, MySQL as the database. 
So I, I don't want to use multiple technologies because with Java, we need to have Tomcat servers and those kind of things. So I want to eliminate that completely and be uh, a node Angular shop 100%. Okay, so how would they contact you? Well, I can, uh, uh, I, the name of our company is My Money Karma. And uh, Say it again? My Money Karma. My Money Karma, okay. okay. Uh, and uh, my email ID is ram, R-A-M, at mymoneykarma.com. Mm -hmm. uh, that is the best way uh, for them to get in touch with me. Just over email. Okay, just over email. Mm -hmm. uh, what I want is uh, uh, not only individual uh, developers, but also outsourcing organizations uh, to get in touch with me so that uh, we could work on some kind of an engagement. You know, we could start with a trial engagement. Uh, we could evaluate uh, mm -hmm. the team's ability to deliver. And once uh, the engagement model is set, I find that, uh, or I anticipate that this model will continue for some time because we are just a startup now. Mm -hmm. uh, we are fully funded.